Gallagher here. If you want to grow your channel quick and easy, subscribe and smash that notification bell because I share with you all the tips, tricks, and strategies that I use to grow this dead channel from zero to thousands of subscribers and became a YouTube partner in just a matter of months. What's happening? So I've been getting questions from a lot of YouTubers that are newer or just starting out and they're not able to grow for whatever reason. They're not getting subscribers, they're not getting views, which is leads to subscribers. And so basically their content's not getting seen. And so some YouTubers have went as far to say that they think YouTube hates their channel. Well, for a lot of us, starting out rather slow is somewhat normal, so don't be too upset quite yet. I don't believe YouTube hates anyone's channel necessarily, but there are definitely things you can do to get on YouTube's good side in terms of getting your content out there. That said, I see the same two issues over and over and over again when people ask me to give them tips or to look at their channel. And the good news is, these issues are just technical so they can be fixed. So the first issue I see most often is YouTubers posting videos as if they already have an audience, as if they already have a huge channel with a bunch of subscribers or a bunch of demand for their content. So they don't do anything in terms of keyword research or video optimization. They just post videos about random topics like my favorite sandwich I saw one the other day so it was just that was the title of their video called my favorite sandwich and they only had maybe a hundred subscribers or so so one thing you have to understand is your content is tied to your channel so if PewDiePie were to post a video called my favorite sandwich not only does he have this built-in audience he also has demand for his content in terms of people searching for his content so I'll show you an example of that in a second so he's pretty much guaranteed to get millions of views off of whatever he produces now for us on the other end you know I have about 16,000 subscribers which in the big scheme of things isn't much. So if I were to post a video about my favorite sandwich, since it's tied to my little tiny channel, nobody's really searching for my content necessarily, not my specific content. Nobody gives a shit, I guess is what I'm saying, about my favorite sandwiches yet. So even though I could rank for that, there's not enough search volume for it. So it's not gonna get many views. So it's gonna stunt the growth of my channel or slow the growth of my channel. And so on the other end of the spectrum, the other biggest issue I see then is almost the exact opposite, and that is people going after keywords that are too competitive. And so they're going after things that are have too much search volume. And so if we were to put this on a spectrum to visualize this, on the either end you have this dark area. You don't want to be there. You want to be in the middle where the colors are. And so let's say on the left side, these are the YouTubers that are posting as if they already have a huge audience with a huge demand for their content. And then on the other end, here's YouTubers that are trying to rank. They're trying to do a good job in terms of ranking, but they're just going after things that are way too competitive. So let me give you a good example. So just using TubeBuddy, you can use all sorts of different keyword uh, research tools to do this. But we're just gonna use TubeBuddy just to illustrate what I'm talking about. So again, let's look at the demand for my content my based on my channel. So if I type in Gallagher, and we'll see what type of results we get. Hey, it's telling me, hey, that's good. You'll be able to rank for that. You know why? Because there's no competition for it because there's no search volume. Nobody gives a shit. I can't get away with making content about myself yet. I can't say my sandwich or my favorite vlog or my first vlog or whatever. It doesn't necessarily work that way. Let's look at the opposite. If we put in PewDiePie and let's see the results. Now it's saying, nah, it's not a good idea to try to rank for just PewDiePie because look at this, search volume off the charts. So this kind of mimics the, the uh, color spectrum I just showed you where you have on one end, no search volume, on the other end, too much. So this mimics that. And then with high search volume, usually comes high competition. So PewDiePie, if he produces a video called My Favorite Sandwich, there's already enough demand just for his content. It doesn't matter. He's going to get tons of views from it. Even apart from his subscribers, there's that many people searching for his content. So you want to get in this middle area here where you want the competition level to be lower and even the search volume to be lower because they are in kind of connection with one another. The higher the search volume, the higher the competition and vice versa. So as an example, if you're in the gaming niche, which is already a very competitive niche, and you, you go for like Fortnite, let's just look at the, the competition level and the search volume for Fortnite in general. Uh, same thing as PewDiePie, super high volume, which means super high competition. So you really have to spend some time looking for and researching like this to find topics that you are able to rank for. So let's go ahead and play around with this real quick and see what we can come up with. 
Let's type in Fortnite skins. And then over here, we're gonna get some ideas here. But here we go, still very high, so not, not good. And it's indicating that right here, very bad. And so one tactic is to make your key phrases a little bit longer, and that makes it more targeted and usually less competition. And so let's try Fortnite skins, gingerbread man, and see what we get. All right, so it's saying it's good in terms of being able to rank for. Um, the search volume isn't the best, but if you're just starting out, it's a start. And the competition is relatively low. So I'm not sure how relevant this is. Like if this is an older skin, I'm not really a super knowledgeable in terms of Fortnite. But this is the sort of thing you have to do. You have to find these little key phrases that are closer to the middle here in the closer you can get to the middle the better and, and ultimately the lower the competition level is is better still because even a little search volume is better than none so it's worth investing some time in doing keyword research like this because you're going to invest time in producing your video you're going to get record it you're going to edit it you're going to post it so you might as well spend a little bit of time beforehand to make sure that you are optimizing it or going to be able to optimize it to get views Otherwise, all that work you're doing producing the video is for nothing. So I hope that helps you out. Really focus on getting in the middle of this spectrum and you should see your channel take off real soon. And with that said, I'm going to wrap this video up and I will see you in the next.